Hey, hey, hey guys, Mario here, and welcome back to a brand new Minecraft building video. So today we're going to be building this awesome abandoned mansion that fits perfectly in this nice mountain biome. So as you can see, it is very wintry. We got icicles and snow all dangling down. So let's hop right into the time lapse. So starting things off guys, I'm just clearing out a little flat area on the top of this mountain and then laying down a simple stone brick platform to build upon. Starting this house, I immediately knew I didn't want a traditional medieval sort of block palette, so I experimented and I figured we can try something with brick and a stripped log. So that is some of the main building blocks that we're going with here. And I went for these big windows rather than your traditional one by two or smaller windows just to get that larger grand mansion feel. Coming to the front of the house, I really wanted to play with the depth and try to make it pop out as much as possible. So we have mainly a foundation of bricks supporting the front of the house and then a nice deep roof to continue it onto the main portion of the house. And now I really just mirrored the other wall here with only one window centered rather than the two. And of course, we're continuing that stone brick detailing all the way across. Um, and now what you're seeing here is the second floor. I made it come out one block just to add a bit of extra depth and create a larger feel for the house overall now coming back around to the front of the house i'm trying to create a sort of rounder dome shaped roof by using andesite blocks to add just a little bit of texture while still keeping that nice gray color from regular stone blocks Coming to the back, I went with that same dark oak trim that pops out one block and I wanted to create again the same dome shaped roof using andesite full blocks and then I built up the sides of the walls with a little bit of brick as well. For the main part of the roof, I knew I wanted something really, really steep since we are here in the mountains and it makes sense with all the snow. And because of the large form factor of this house, I wanted to go for sort of a twin peak with a tower that actually pokes up through one of them to add a little bit of variation. Now I also have these very small arches that you can maybe see towards the front to add some extra detail as well. And then I just went ahead and filled everything else with stone brick. Now in this shot you can really see that tower I'm talking about that really just comes through the center of the build and breaks up the roof. So once again we have red brick to sort of contrast against the gray stone brick and we have a simple dark oak trim with a stone brick wizard tower like roof. You know I'm sure Hogwarts has plenty of these styles but any hoosers back to the other roof peak we're just mirroring the one we just did except without the tower breaking it up and with our dark oak trim just connecting everything up. I'm also adding some stair blocks mixed into the red brick just to add to that abandoned feel. Um, now I wanted a few more curves and details to this part of the roof so I decided to have two little roof peaks sticking out here and a bit of an overhang that comes out underneath each of those. Now, as you can see, we have this very awkward three wide gap between these two roofs and I just did my best to improvise a little gap bridger with some dark oak there. And now this side of the wall, I'm adding some more windows, some more broken up bits with stair blocks and then filling in these little gaps in between the roofs just with some brick and some more dark oak for detail. We also have some supports for the tower that's nicely integrated into the roof itself to add a little more stability and I just went ahead and added some nice window panes on there as well. Ah, we're finally giving the house some foundation and not just a dinky little platform. So I went ahead and added the support pillars going to the mountain itself and some arches using stair blocks as well. Coming to the front, of course I wanted a nice grand look, but also a little bit run down, so I went ahead and opted for this double staircase look with some nice guardrails in between. And down the middle I wanted this nice frozen fountain just to add to that wintry abandoned feel like no one's really taking care of this place in a long time. And you may see some cobwebs and even Halloween style decorations and I'll explain that a little bit later. But moving along to the side of the house now, I'm working on this fence design that wraps all the way around the house. So we have alternating stone slabs with some lanterns resting on walls and some iron bars as well. So now I definitely did play around with this a lot and I ended up thinking that the lanterns were too much so I really only alternated the lanterns every other segment I suppose. 
for a little bit of landscaping detail i added this sort of dead spruce tree with its limbs all extending over and creeping in all different directions and then coming along to the house itself, I wanted some snow just resting on top. Um, I broke down the roof a little bit in the previous clips, I don't know if you could tell. But now we have nice patches of snow as well that are hanging off the sides of the roof. Panning to this side of the house, I also opted for some icicles using packed ice and a little bit of regular ice to represent some melting, dripping water. Now for some final landscaping touches, I used World Edit to smooth down this ugly portion of the mountain and then began to add some more custom dead trees. And now I made about two of these uh, in addition to the one I made earlier and then I just decided to copy and paste them using World Edit. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the time lapse. Alrighty, alrighty guys, so before I show you guys a nice cinematic of the final product, we're actually going to head inside and do a neat little interior just to end off the video. So stepping inside here, we got a pretty large door, but it really is just a single door, and we have a pretty spacious interior to work with here. So first off, I'm going to separate this into a first and second floor area. So I actually do have world edit, I'm going to grab this out and just make a nice little second floor. And then we can do the rest by hand. Excellent, excellent. Uh, so I didn't really have a chance to really talk to you guys um, before the new year. So happy new year, everyone. I know I'm a little bit late. Uh, I never did end up making a formal new year's video. So I apologize for that. I hope you guys are all having an excellent new year's. I hope you've set some nice goals for yourself. I know people say new year's resolutions are just a social construct, but really I disagree. I think they're a good way to um, get to know yourself better and really just improve yourself throughout the year obviously you should be setting goals all throughout the year not just uh during the new year but i think it's good to get a fresh a fresh mindset a fresh head um during the new year so we're gonna go ahead and do some fences here get some gates out as well and now um me personally I have some big aspirations for the rest of 2020. I know we've only just begun, uh, but I have some huge goals for the channel and for uh, my own personal self. So now a big goal I have for myself is related to fitness. I want to make 2020 the year where I'm happiest about my own personal body. And I hope you guys definitely try out getting exercise or just having like a either playing a sport or going to the gym or something because it really does help with daily life and focus and whatnot uh, but yeah so since this area is a little bit messier try to come up with something contained here something uniform so we're gonna go like that maybe get trap doors going like this boom and then i might have like a like a mini chandelier maybe yeah, I like that. That's cool. Going back to goals for the channel, I also have some very large uh, aspirations, especially since we had so much growth throughout 2019. I want to make 2020 even better. So I did set some high goals for myself. Subwise, I want to be at around 5,000 by the end of the year. I know that is kind of a long shot, but I really feel like with time, uh, we can definitely achieve it. All I really need to do is just stay consistent with uploads. I know that is definitely easier said than done, but that is the number one secret to succeeding on YouTube, I believe, is really just getting that consistency down. But of course, I do want to make it a little bit more run down. And I know in the video, you saw cobwebs and whatnot for Halloween. But I actually want to spread a couple around here just to mimic that abandoned look. Something like that. I know we already have one here, but we can get some 
nice patterns and i'm gonna try and speed it up here i know that i don't want the video to drag too long now so i'm gonna come through with the brick here and just extend this um going up same on this side uh but yeah let me know what your personal goals are this year if you have a youtube channel of your own or stream or anything let me know uh, about that but we're gonna add a few little details like armor stands maybe like a leftover pair of boots but yeah i apologize if the keyboard is a little bit louder than usual i actually spilled water on my previous one and sadly some of the keys are glitching out now so um i have to resort to this a little bit clickier of a keyboard and hopefully we can get that resolved soon i'm going to uh, have a nice little kitchen here it's a very simplistic thing here will be the living room area all right so we have a very small little kitchen here just some storage some nice shelving and sort of the sink that slowly faded away with time and there's just some leftover water that's kind of chilling and just spilled into the floor here and we're going to separate this here we're going to end the kitchen and build up a wall like so if you want something to look old always just add like barrels and stuff i find that works nicely you just have um sort of like run down storage piles and whatnot over here we'll have a nice lounge uh sort of living room area we'll we'll maybe have like a lumber pile or something i think that could work so you just like some firewood piled up in this corner i think i think that actually works nicely so yeah whenever you're doing interior just think about setting what kind of mood you want to set i guess i know that sounds a little bit like english classy but it really does add a lot if you think about stylistically what would make sense right this is an odd staircase indeed Oh, well, uh, <laughs> yikes. Okay, let's see. Let's see if that looks like at all. Okay, sure, sure. Let's just make a little song here. Make a little song that might make sense. Yeah, sure. And then, I don't know, have like a beam running across. Okay, I thought it'd be too weird not to have like a stove or a fireplace of some sort so we're gonna pretend that that will lead outside at some point nice and then in this corner sort of mimicking my single player world which i'm yet to upload another video on still debating if i want to continue it but we're gonna have like a nice writing desk area here here we can have this kind of chair so you have like a nice lounge chair we have a curved sofa we can can you extend this a little bit it's yeah i mean it's not really like a modern day sofa but it's it's something it's it's something we have this big oak open space here which i might also fill in with a carpet just gonna do very like neutral colors because um it is abandoned after all like these carpets would have faded over time maybe this was somewhat of a brighter color before and it just faded sort of to a brownish uh color and it's kind of all raggedy maybe from mice running all over it or something very nice so we just threw together an interior pretty quick here on the downstairs um now heading upstairs we can hang a little something uh, i'm not gonna worry too much about this room maybe this is like an unfinished part of the house i know that's kind of that's kind of lazy but um we're gonna also hang some lanterns here i should want like a wall lantern or something like that i think that works right um this is also a little bit too open for my likings you know if all else fails get some barrels up in there some barrels get some chests get some cobwebs oh guess no one's home i'm just kidding guys i'm not gonna role play like that that's too much work okay hanny hoosers we finished up the interior here in our haunted not really haunted it initially was supposed to be a haunted house but it is like a nice abandoned 
used to be cozy winter cabin here and now coming along to the upstairs i think i did a quick little interior and we have snow falling through the roofs because it was going to be exposed anyway so some of it really just fell through um so here we actually have a baby crib because um the people who used to live here they're pretty well off they managed to start a family uh for some reason they left i don't know but it's abandoned now some cobwebs some old baby food some storage right and i used a lot of books up here so well off you know books back then not everyone was educated so you know these people they were pretty well off um a nice cozy reading area and they even had a collection of records which is now empty but yeah a nice bed here in the corner but very very abandoned overall and i think the snow even going through the roof is a good little detail of that so yeah if you learned anything from these little interior tricks i hope you learned something and if you did let me know send some pics to me over on twitter or even join the discord uh down in the description and send me some of your photos if this inspired anything uh but yeah let's take one final swivel around the house now the reason i initially had cobwebs and pumpkins all over the outside of this house to begin with was that this was actually designed all the way back in october it was meant to be a collab video between me and someone else but that didn't end up working out so i scrapped the idea and instead used it for a winter house So guys, that is going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed. I haven't done one of these sort of like time-lapse talking styles of videos in a long, long time. So I really do hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know if you want to see other types of videos similar to this, because I usually just stick with, you know, afterlife, live commentaries and uh, tutorial videos and whatnot. So if you like this type of style, please be sure to let me know in the comments down below, because I do have something else special planned for you guys as well. So uh, yeah, guys, I do hope you enjoyed this build. Hope you guys learned something from it. Um, I know this is a very different style from what I usually go for, kind of like a uh, not Victorian, but like with the bricks, it's it was definitely a challenge integrating some new blocks into something I'd never really done before. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it nonetheless. Leave a like if you did, and I will catch you all in the next video, guys. Peace out. Goodbye.